Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing good. Let's start the another interesting topics of WebRTC tutorial series. In the last video, we have implemented our first WebRTC chat room application. I hope you might already watch the videos. In this video, I would like to go further deep of WebRTC technology. Today let's start to implement a video call application using WebRTC. Before implementing the application, I would like to explain the design of the video call application. First of all, welcome all to Engineering Semester channel. Here we are providing new emerging technologies tutorials. If you are new to this channel or new to this WebRTC series, please go and watch our introduction part first. Now let's start the design. In the last video, we have implemented the chat room application. Compared to that design, we have to add an extra video call feature in this application. We already know that WebRTC provide Get User Media API to invoke the video and audio frames. So we have to use Get User Media API mainly in this video call application. Using Get User Media API, we can set the media constraints like resolution, height and width. Also we can control the video and audio permission too. Coming to the prerequisites of this video call application, we are continuing to use HTML Bootstrap and JavaScript as client-side front-end development. In the server side, we are going to use Node.js with WebSocket. Now let us look the features in this video call application. Definitely user can log into the application with random username. Server will maintain the active online user list, and each user can request for a video call. Once each user is ready, a WebRTC room will be created. User can do video call as well as text chat. Here we can reuse our WebRTC data channel concept. Finally any user want to leave the call, they can quit the room. One important thing here we have to consider. This application will only allow one-to-one -one user video call. Coming to design of client-side user interface. We have to create a HTML page with JavaScript as backend script. We can use CSS for page alignments. To communicate between client and server, we can use JSON messages. Then last not the least, we have to create a HTML video call user interface. In the signaling server side, we can reuse complete server code from the WebRTC chat room application. There will not be any change in the signaling server code. Now let us see a quick demo of the video call page of this application. Once user has logged to the application and request for a video call, then this video call HTML page will be displayed. If the user has clicked the call button, then the camera permission window will be displayed in the left corner. User has to allow the permission to use the camera or microphone. This same process will be happen when the peer user has accepted the call request in the other side. Once each user has allowed the permission, you can see a video call page. Here you can see peer and client side video frames in the left side. To send a message between users, they can use right side text chat window of this page. If any of the user want to leave the page, they can simply click the close button. This is the user interface we are going to implement in this video call application. I hope you got a complete design of the video call application now. In the upcoming videos, we can implement our WebRTC video call application. That's it for now. See you soon with another video. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.